What are you so sad about, huh? Well, talk to him, old sad, sad sack. Spend just a few minutes with Doyle Dooley Staten. So it's a good thing helping one another. And you'll feel resilience, hope, and optimism. Everybody helps one another, we can get this thing fixed up. But no one could fault him if he were less optimistic. It was a mess, but we're getting it done. This is his Wachula home now. I'm mostly the cleanup man. Because this is what it looked like just a couple weeks ago, as rain from Hurricane Ian flooded the neighboring Peace River. The water, you look out here, that fence, you couldn't even see the top of that gate. Two weeks later, the river is down, but its impact is still very much here. 21 inches of water entered Dooley's home. The water was all the way up to here. It meant all furniture had to be thrown out, all carpet ripped out, and two feet of drywall replaced. It's been a lot of work. Dooley, though, is lucky. Some of his neighbors have it much worse. Uh, can you see? They had it this deep right down there. Their earthly possessions now piled at the curb. Here in Hardy County, emergency officials say FEMA and the American Red Cross are still here to help with food, financial assistance, and temporary housing. Government officials here are starting to discuss longer-term transitional housing plans. A town hall meeting is being planned for next week. We'll be we'll recover in a month or two, uh, we will. But Dooley That's knows long. many of his neighbors will need more time, more help. That's my tractor, Yonner. It was covered with water. Even for an optimist, the situation here seems bleak. It was way up here. But Dooley water is a calming force. You know, that's the thing about life. You think in bad shape, you just look around. 